Sophia here, Magway Challenger. Welcome back to my channel and chaos because, you know, we're in the basement and it's always chaos in here. And I'm in the basement against my better judgment, <laughs> ready to yet again embarrass myself with the utter disorganization and absolute lack of discipline that plagues my life in general. Um, okay, so this is what happens when uh, you have too much going on and you keep piling it on and you think you can do it all and you keep on overestimating your ability to stretch time because for some reason this pea brain of mine thinks that I can cram all of these activities and all of these things in the 24 hours that you get and that I get but that I can do more than you and <laughs> and plus some so my basement has become, um, what is it now? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Well, it's, uh, it's my quilting room. It's my happy place, um, uh, which still happens. Uh, and it's also in that area over there, my processing center for Etsy. Uh, but it's also apparently my storage for all of my boxes for Etsy. We have the laundry room on one side. And it's the transition for the boxes that are ready to go to the garage or ready to go to the post office. So there's a little bit of everything, the problem. Oh, and it's also uh, a transition for a whole bunch of other stuff. It's chaos, okay? It's just chaos. I was supposed to do something totally different. I had two things that are really on my list, need to be done, what need to be done. One needs to be done. One is on my list of to-dos for the year. I was... Uh, I wanted to paint, repaint all the doors on the second floor. That's part of my to-do list. And then the other one is take down the dead tree in the yard. But since I already have a lot of gardening down for this video, I'm not going to bore you with me on top of a ladder taking down a tree, okay? Though it might be entertaining, we'll do that in another video. <laughs> and then I remembered, oh, wait. Uh, we got people coming over and I really need to have this basement taken care of. So, um, my head is against the wall. I have no choice but to, uh, clean the basement yet again. So I guess let's get started. And I'm actually going to put myself on a timer. It's 1237. Let's work until two o'clock. We're going to do an hour and a half. Put in my, because I work better when I have uh, a um, deadline. Don't ask me why. When I was in college, I did all my better writing at the last minute. That is a fact. <laughs> that's when the creative, uh, that's when the creative juice was flowing at the last minute. And that's a problem. Okay, we got an hour and a half. Let me give you a um, a tour of shame. All right, there's a reality here. Okay, you may not be aware of it, but uh, because I don't talk about it, but here's the Etsy room. We're gonna go and check it out. Um, but yeah, I'm, I almost tripped on something. For the most part, unbeknownst to you, I'm packing at sea at 11 o'clock midnight, okay, uh, on Thursday night, so that I can um, be done for stuff to be purchased on Friday. So I don't know about you, but on Thursday night, at midnight, I don't feel like I need to clean <laughs> <laughs> so this is what happens okay all right so that's my excuse and i'm sticking to it um we got boxes that were refused because <laughs> they were too small so they get tossed because at 11 30 at night i'm like uh, i don't care for that let me go get another box this is my stash of boxes various sweaters because i'm rushing i start sweating and so the sweaters end up being tossed over here i'm trying to give you a visual in in a comical way because you you gotta you gotta like work with me here okay it's there's a reason why it's like this and i, and I want you to try to visualize me over here sweating it at 11 o'clock at night on thursday 
packing my Etsy before I go to bed and it's like I'm it's a mad dash okay and I'm sweating it and I, I get hot so I toss the sweater and it stays here it's now 12 30 at night I'm ready to go to bed I rush upstairs forget about the mess forget about the sweater and now it's five days later okay so this is what's going on all right so now we got the stuff that's been packed okay now my system is as follow because there's a method all right I'm not putting things into the garage right away because remember it's midnight okay um I, I i i don't know i don't feel like doing back and forth to the garage at that time so i leave it here on friday what happens is that the majority of the time stuff gets sold on saturday i go to the post office except this saturday i didn't get a chance to do it so what happens is that most of the time at least four if not more the seven items get sold so those get uh, labeled, they go to the post office and whatever's left then goes to the garage. Except that I've been busy, shocker, and I haven't done that in two weeks. <laughs> so in this pack right here, there's about six items that need to be labeled and out and then the rest goes to the garage. So I'm going to do that today. I already got the labels taken care of. All right. So that's this side of the basement chaos. Okay, let's go on the other side. Okay, uh, this is stuff that I brought back from the garage uh, when I did a big declutter and it needs to go on Etsy. This is stuff that I just purchased um, that you will see in the next Thrift With Me video. This is boxes that I'm collecting. <laughs> that I need to sort out. Okay, this is more stuff that I've collected uh, at the thrift store that need to be uh, sorted out. Uh, bubble wrap, yeah. And then the sewing machine, the antique sewing machine. It's right here, okay. I finally brought it out of the uh, garage because I didn't want it in there anymore. So I brought it here. Um, I need to find a place for it. And then the only place that's kind of, kind of, okay, uh, organized is my sewing station. I will spare you the laundry room because Edward came back from college and there's about a year's worth of laundry in there. If you have a college kid, you know what I'm talking about. So this is what it looks like. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to start with um, labeling boxes and getting them out of the way. So at least we have an, em uh, an empty spot right here. Okay. So what else is coming up in this video? Well, uh, there's going to be some gardening. Um, I'm going to take you to the front yard where I weeded the entire right side uh, bed and remulch. Uh, and it looks really good. But it wasn't just that. Also, you'll see, I, I also um, thatch the lawn and treated the lawn and re-edged the lawn. <laughs> that was a lot of work. Um, so there's that. And then there's some quilting at the end because I'm still working on my quilt. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the goal today is since I have an hour and a half, I should not have started the timer, right? Because uh, I'm, I'm yapping and I'm wasting time right now. Um, and yours too. Um, So the goal today is to get this back in order. And just to give you a heads up, I am taking a break from posting on Etsy for two weeks. So there will be no posting on Etsy um, this week and the following week. All right, so break for two weeks. I'll be back the second week in June. All right, let's get started. We're already seeing a little bit clearer. Let me get my big garbage bag and start gathering all of the uh, trash that's around, in particular in the Etsy room. And you know, it's a nothing. I get it. I get it. 
But I'm telling you, at like 1 o'clock in the morning, 12, 11.30, is the last thing you want to do. Okay, much better and ready to go in two weeks when I come back and start posting again. So let me turn off the light and I have business in the basement. So you know you probably noticed um, from the stack behind me that I no longer break down the boxes and <laughs> there's a reason for that. Um, I do have boxes in the um, dresser in there that 10 by 6 by 6 and 10 by 7 by 5 that I purchased. Those are for like items that are kind of small that I, I know will fit. Uh, the problem with breaking down the boxes this this been there's been numerous occasions where I thought a box was going to fit and I reconstructed the box and it turned out to be too small or it turned out to be too big. And there you go. That's why you end up having a box that's being reconstructed and tossed to the side. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. So it's, um, it's not like one of those businesses that has a consistent size. And they keep on purchasing the same sizes of boxes and they don't have to worry about shipping sizes and and cost it's always the same size and the same cost it's different for me because my items this can be um, you know like even if I have 12 flutes depending on how I wrap the flutes the box could be this big or this big or this big it all depends it's never the same so I could have the right box one time and then think that this, the second time around the exact same box is going to be the right box and then they end up not being. I'm sorry, you can hear people walking in my house. It's an old house. Um, I think it's Edward. Ed, is that you? Okay. So I no longer break the, the uh, boxes. So they have to stack. I, I put them one into the other best I can. Because I'm telling you, when I have like two and a half hours, three hours to wrap all my items, um, I don't have time to reconstruct boxes only to find that they're not the right size. I just don't have the time to do that. A time is uh, of the essence. <laughs> <laughs> when you're doing that after the full days of work and you've edited an entire video and and you've had dinner and this is what you do after that um so i'm gonna live with boxes for a while and then eventually i'll start purchasing boxes um in a bulk form i guess or at a bulk level where i'll have just like small medium large extra large boxes stacks of them Maybe I'll do that. Uh, I've started doing that, but this is not something I want to do on a consistent basis because, you know, to me right now, it's not cost effective. So I'm still collecting boxes, free boxes that I turn inside out. <laughs> That's why they tape all over the place because I turn boxes inside out and I remove labels from shipping labels from other people's 
you know, Amazon labels. So yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. So I'm done with this sign. Let's go into the garden and then we'll come back to this. All right, welcome back to the garden. I have some weeding to do. So yesterday was Friday. I actually mowed the lawn, um, kind of did the edges a little bit. You can see that all the plants that I planted the other day are um, coming up nice. And what I'm gonna do is I got in, I got some um, mulch. I'm going to weed all of this and start mulching. Um, I have to mulch those two and at least this one definitely don't have enough mulch but we'll see but I'll weed all of this as well and uh, I'm super behind I'm overwhelmed look at all the weeds it's done nothing but rain and last year I was able to garden every night hence the reason why I have so many gardening videos at least one a week but when it's raining every night, I don't know about you, but I'm not gardening in the rain. And it's literally stopped raining uh, last night. That was the only night it didn't rain this week. It was, it's terrible, terrible this year. <laughs> so let's get started. We're gonna weed all of this and mulch it. All right, let me start. You might hear some thumps that Scott pulling the uh, mulch bags out of the uh, trunk. And yeah, here we go. <laughs> uh, putting them on the side so that I can mulch. I don't even know what this weed is. I didn't have that last year. No idea what this is.
so this is today's work and as predicted I ran out of um, mulch <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking with six bags I need about 15 more um, but it looks much better so that's a butterfly it's gonna be really big this and that over there are um, Russian sage and just to give you an idea my neighbor has one right over here and that one is only three years old so they get bigger it's gonna fill up over here and over here in about three years so that's why there's not a lot because you know um, it's gonna fill up so all of this has been fertilized and I still have to do all of this so that's for um, another day obviously I'm gonna grab a bite and that's it for me for today that was a lot so yep that was the gardening So, I found it on the street and uh, I didn't do anything to it, but look how beautiful condition it's in. And it came with all of its accessories, including the bullet um, bobbin. Bobbins used to be bullets like this. See that? So, there's one, there's a key, I have to figure out what it's for. Whoever had this really took care of it. There's all of the original needles. And then there's the original manual for it. Oh. Okay, here we go. A style number three. Uh, 1890 how cool is this anyway <laughs> mom wants to keep it because all I need is the um, I guess you put the thread here I'm not sure she knows how to use this she had one uh, that my grandmother had electrified uh, back in the 1930s um, but yeah, it works. So you pedal and then you put a belt right here and the belt would go here and here, attached to the pedal. And then you see the thing here, goes up and down. Oh, this is so cool. Can't wait to clean it up. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that actually, I think is worth um, having it cleaned professionally. But if you remember, when I was uh, garbage picking once, I also found this box of attachments. And these are attachments that you can use on these machines as well. And again, my mom knows how to use all this stuff. I have no idea how to use this. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Might be for a button. But anyway. Attachment. All right, let's keep this like this. Make a little display. As though I needed more stuff to collect dust in this house.
Okay, that's it. Good enough. Sometimes you got to go for good enough. This was never an issue. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I got boxes. I run a business, you know? I got boxes. And then this is done. Um, I finally have that little machine over there. I can't wait for mom to play with it. She's she just she's really looking forward to it too. I gotta be honest. Like this is this is really really cool, really cool. And I think what I'm gonna do is that as soon as I find that when mom is coming, I'm gonna take it to Sioux, New Jersey, and I'm gonna give it to uh, the guy there. I think his name is Bob, and um, Ken or Bob, I can't remember. And I'm gonna have him restore it. I don't care how much I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna have him restore it. But anyway. Yeah, that's it. Okay, done. Whew. So, uh, I'm done with the basement. I'm done with gardening. We're gonna go quilting. <laughs> uh, if quilting is not your thing, uh, just like I did the last time, I'll say goodbye now. If you want to watch a little bit of quilting and relax uh, and see uh, where I'm at with it. I, I was able to quilt maybe 35, 40 minutes yesterday. That's all I was able to squeeze in for the entire week. Um, 35 minutes worth of quilting as we were waiting for Chinese delivery. Um, but it's, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, but I'm happy I was able to, so not complaining. Uh, so I, And with that, let's go quilting and that will be it for this video. Hey, welcome back to my happy place. I am still working on the turquoise for the dragonflies. So here we go. We just ordered um, Chinese food and what I'm going to do is quilt until the food arrives. So it's going to be maybe 30 minutes. That's all I can do.
Right. All the turquoise is done on the blue dragonfly. So I have the blue dragonfly done and I have the purple dragonfly that's done and I have a portion of the other blue one that's done. Just have to do the green. So then for that I need to change color. And then for this one it's got a little bit of turquoise so I'm going to do this one next because it's mostly turquoise. And then once I've done that, the green and this one, the only one that's left is the red one. So I'm going to stop here because the Chinese food is about to arrive. All right, I'm back. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm doing those getting things done videos to motivate you to get things done. Uh, and clearly I am mixing um, things that are on my list and things that are just things that we all have. Uh, so these things on my list are specific to my house and my projects and then things that we share. Like we all have, you know, an area that's been cluttered and needs decluttering or an area that needs cleaning or an area we've been neglecting. Um, I, I, I hope we all do. I know I'm not the only one. So I, I do those videos for you if we're all in the same boat. Um, it's a constant battle. Listen, I know I procrastinate and I know I, I could do much better. I'm perfectly aware of this. Um, there's just times where I'm, I'm just like, it's just too much. Okay. I, I, I have to be perfectly clear. It's just too much. And I'm, and it's my own doing. Nobody told me to have a full-time job, a four-story house, two hours commute, a YouTube channel with three videos a week. A Patreon channel with two videos a week, plus a blog, plus live, plus an Etsy shop, uh, plus a, a garden, plus, you know, nobody told me to do that. I did it to myself. So I, I can, you know, complain ad nauseum. Most of you are like, um, be careful what you wish for. So yeah, I'm aware of that. It's my own doing. I get it. Um, But still, <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. And I do the best I can. And um, I'm here to encourage you to do just the same. We do the best we can with what we have and the time we are allotted. Uh, this is not a competition as to who keeps the cleanest house, the most organized, the most trendy, the most blah, blah, blah house. Okay. We do the best we can. I'm competing with zero. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Um, I'm not ambitious, nor am I pretentious. I, at least I don't think I am. That's the reason why I don't have any problem showing you this stuff. Because I, I just, you know, it is what it is. I, I'm just out there showing you that, yeah, I struggle. It's hard. It's hard. And I really do the best I can. I sleep well though. <laughs> All right. Um, now it is, I'll give you a for instance, right? I, I put my glasses. Okay. It's 1.53. So I'm going to take literally a seven minute break. I'm going to go in the garden and I'm going to start another video of getting things done. At 4.30, I have a live for Patreon. When I'm done with the live with Patreon, I'm going to go back in the garden and continue filming for another video that's going to be for YouTube. Then that evening, I'm going to edit a Patreon video, create a blog for Patreon. Um, no, actually, I'm going to film a video for Patreon. That's what I need to do right now. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going to happen. 
right, I'm gonna take a seven minute break. I'm gonna go get a coffee. Not that I need one, but I feel like having a coffee. Um, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like these types of video with a little bit of everything. I think you do. Um, and let me know down below what you think of the garden, where it's going. I was going to put more plants this year, but quite frankly, um, let's see how big the ones that I have are going, okay? Because they may fill up enough that I really don't need to put too much. Um, I, they may die. I, I don't know. I, I just, this phone is annoying. <laughs> um, I, it's just, let's calm down, okay? Let's see where the garden goes in the front because it's just, it's so much between the back and the front, okay? It, it's, let's calm down. Um, right now, what I need to do is weed everything and mulch everything so that it looks good and landscaped and it's pleasant to the eye and let's watch the stuff grow and see where we go with that and then in the fall um maybe i'll put new bulbs i'd like to get some japanese irises and maybe um irises in general we'll see something okay but i don't think i'm going to plant anything for now in the front I have a few containers. I may put some stuff, but that's about it. You remember I said I was gonna do wildflowers? I, I ain't got time, it's too much, okay? Let's calm down. I can't do it all, can't do it all. I will see you in the next video. Subscribe right here in the corner. Um, find me on Facebook and Instagram at My Great Challenge, Patreon, patreon.com slash my great challenge if you want to see content exclusive to patreon not seen on youtube totally different from what's on youtube much more intimate if you want to see family stuff that i no longer share on uh, youtube that's moved to patreon and etsy shop link down below for vintage finds and that would be it thanks for watching